please tell me it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Really? No. Hmm. Mod installation. More to know than you may think. First we download, then we cover situational options. You don't need to remember this all. What the heck does this do again? Timestamp? There it is. Let's do it. Mod manager download. The downloads appear in the downloads tab. Double click to install. If MO2 and Nexus aren't communicating, manual download. Your PC's download directory. Drag and drop the archive into the Downloads tab. A copy is put in MO2's download directory. You can delete the original. However, if you delete the archive here, you also delete it here. Don't lose your mods. When you run apps from MO2 that generate files, such as Four's New Idols in Skyrim, the output defaults to Overwrite. If you run one of these apps, double-click Overwrite to see if anything's there. If there is, close the window, right-click, create mod, give it a name. The new mod appears in the left pane. You want to keep overwrite empty. Do so by creating mods this way, or by dragging and dropping files from the overwrite window to pre-existing mods. We talk more about this in the mod management video. To keep mods organized, do this process one mod at a time, then repeat. Steam app, community, workshop. Select your game, find the mod, subscribe. Make sure Overwrite is empty. Run the game launcher from MO2. Wait for a synchronization message at the bottom of the menu. Exit. Open Overwrite. Notice the Steam files are now here. Close Overwrite. Right-click it. Create mod. Name the mod accordingly. OK. A warning. If you run the game launcher and the Steam author has updated their mod, Steam auto-updates it on your system. After the mod is installed, if you unsubscribe from it, you keep the mod and avoid updates. Find the mod on Bethesda.net that you'd like to use. Add it to your library. Make sure Overwrite is empty. Run the game via Mod Organizer. At the main menu, select Mods. After signing into your account, select a single mod from your library download it, agree to all of the prompts, then close the game. The mod is now in Overwrite. Right-click Overwrite, create new mod. Name the mod accordingly. If you have multiple mods downloaded to Overwrite at the same time, instead of creating new mod, right-click in the left pane, create empty mod. Name this empty mod after one that is now in Overwrite. Drag and drop the files from a single mod into the new folder. Repeat the process for the rest of the files until overwrite is empty. Finally, disable it from the main menu Mods option. Do this to not accidentally surpass the game's plugin limit by having mods loaded from a second source. For every other site, install mods manually as shown in the Nexus section. Now to cover what to do at the different windows that open during installation. This window opens when installing a mod for the first time that is packaged properly. OK is generally what you want to click. Manual opens extra options. This is generally used if you are aware that a mod is packaged improperly. The window that opens shows the archive's contents as they are packed. From here, you can organize files and folders the same way that you would in Explorer. Deactivate a checkbox so that none of the files and the folders within that option are installed. Useful if a mod has multiple options. If a message says, no game data at top level, right-click the data folder with the checkbox next to it, select set data directory. The error message should then read, looks good. You can undo set directory by right-clicking the top level option and select unset data directory. At any point, you can install or cancel what you've done. If MO2 thinks a mod is packaged improperly, the Install Mods window opens. This is the same window when selecting Manual from Quick Install. With these mods, you'll notice the No Game Data on Top Level message. As previously mentioned, right-click the Data folder, the one with the checkbox, and Set Data Directory. If it doesn't say Looks Good, expand all of the arrows and search for the proper Top Level folder to Set Data Directory for. 
In rare cases, due to how a mod was distributed, you may need to rebuild the directory entirely. That is not for an MO2 video. If you install multiple mods from the same mod page, such as an update or a hotfix, you have some options. During installation, at the Quick Install window, select OK. The Mod Exists window opens. From here, you can Merge, which adds all contents from the new archive to the existing mod of the same name. If any files are duplicates, the new files overwrite the old. This also leaves personal changes that you have made to the mod intact. Replace. This removes all files from the original mod and replaces them with what you are currently installing. This replaces everything with the new stuff. Rename. The safest option. By changing the name of the mod that you are currently installing, you make sure it gets its own mod folder. This allows archives from the same page to act as two separate mods. Some mods have installers to allow you to pick and choose options. Make your choices, install the mods as normal. After a mod is installed to MO2, it needs to be activated in the left pane. Deactivated mods don't load into the game. If a mod contains a plugin, it shows up in the Plugins tab. Deactivating plugins here does not disable the entire mod, only the plugin itself. If you receive this error message, the archive that you are trying to install is most likely corrupt. Many times, simply re-downloading the mod and trying to install it again fixes this. If it doesn't, you may need to repack it to a new archive, while removing any information within that is unnecessary, such as faux mod installers. Mod Manager Download doesn't work. Open MO2's installation directory. Locate nxmhandler.exe. Launch it. A shoreless supported game is pointing to the appropriate mod organizer executable. If the path is correct, highlight the game. Register active. Yes. If the game is not pointing to the proper executable, or if the game doesn't appear, right-click within the NXM window. Add. From the Select Supported Games window, select the game that this instance of MO is being used for. In the Binary window, click the ellipsis, browse to the Mod Organizer Executable, double-click it. OK. Register Active. Yes. Close. And that, friends, is tutorial whatever day it is. I knew you had it in you. If I've helped you out and you want to and can return the favor, drop a tip in one of the various cups I have linked. You folks keep the blood pumping through this channel's veins. I am Michael. You are Gamer Poets. I hope to see you soon. When it rains, it pours. Water's up to my chin. Won't stop fighting to the very